<laughs> the man who needs no introduction, but we'll introduce him anyway. Our good buddy, Chef Chris Shepard, he's back with us. How you doing, man? Good. It's been a minute. I know. How you been? You've been very busy. Yep. You're doing a lot. Yep. Uh, on, on TV and in the theater. Yep. My goodness, how has this table to stage is, stage been going? Uh, it's been going fantastic. You know, it, it's an opportunity for guests to have conversations with chefs that they normally wouldn't get to. Right? You see chefs walk through the Sorry, door. Sorry, chef. One sec. Are we hearing his mic or we're not? I think we're not getting a stand up for a sec, chef. Let me just let me just work through this for a second. It's all right. Because yeah. we got. There we go. Let me see. Ding ding. Is that not working? I'm sorry. We. It's good now? Okay, I'm sorry. Let's have a seat, Chef. We're good. We, we lost you for a minute. Uh, okay, hold on. You know what? I'm just going to do this, baby. I'm going to give you my microphone. All right, I'm going to come right over here. No, no, no. We're going to come sit next to each other. We're friends. We've been good friends a long time. <laughs> this for a long time. Folks, thank you for hanging out with us. Okay, let's start this over. Yeah, yeah. Table to stage. I was with you when this whole thing got started with Johnny Caraba. Yeah. But you're doing another episode, so tell us. We got Sarah Gruenberg coming up on Monday. Uh, Sarah and I worked together. I hired her for her first job back in Man, she was probably 2001. She was 17 years old. She's now won a beard award. She's got one of the best Italian restaurants in the country. They make pasta to order. She's got a book called uh, Listen to Your Vegetables, which is, it's an amazing book. And the story is amazing because it's what I told her when she was like, how do you be creative? And I said, you just go in a cooler, listen to your vegetables. They'll tell you what to cook. And she told me that when she was getting ready to put the book out, she said, well, I, I named it this. And both of us, full tears. Because okay. it was one of those things like you teach cooks, you teach people, you don't know how they're going to remember it. And that just made sense to her. Right. And so. But, but you knew she was a talent way back when. Obviously, you hired her, you put her to work. But then the development from then to now must be A lot be of funny impressive. stories behind that. But you got to come to stages on Monday. See? Uh -huh. <laughs> Cause that was, I, wasn't, I was like, no, I'm not going to hire her. No, I'm not going to hire her. I was like, okay, you're going to be my problem. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so March 4th, they go to the website, Stages Houston, and get, get the tickets. Yeah. The, these, are, these are a lot of fun because you guys really go like, into the kitchen and beyond to where you came from where you've been, and again, all those funny moments. Well, and all the happened. challenges that happened. Like, yeah. you know, we did the one with the barbecue roundup, the guys were from the city and talked about salt for 15, 20 minutes and like how the texture of salt changed and how we had to adapt cooking with that. And then, you know, we're just learning like the ups and downs of life and how do you, how do you run restaurants and manage family and life mm -hmm. and everything else? Because if you're going at eight in the morning, you're coming home at one in the morning, yeah, Where's that, of, how's that family work? Yeah, and right. so like, how do you figure all these things out? And that's what the show's all about. Yeah, it's a wonderful time. If you can make it, yeah. definitely, definitely grab one. And this is going to be a, a, a good episode. I yeah, say it'll, episode. It'll be a great one, yeah. yeah. Uh, Eat Like a Local, yeah. you went out to the rodeo this week. We now, did. for those that don't know, yeah. Chef doesn't have like this fast food thing going on. So when I think of like just fried quickness, I don't think of you. But the rodeo's mm -hmm. not fast food, it's fried food, it's, it's culture, it's carnival. It is a culture. So how was that experience for you this you week? Know, and I know I, we'll see it on the show Saturday. We will. But um, there's certain things that I just, I will gravitate towards and I, and I think that I love. I always see people walk around eating their turkey legs and I was like, you already know you're getting that. Like, you, 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 maybe you do it every year, maybe not, but maybe not this year. Maybe try something else because there's so much delicious food out there and you just got to Kind of, kind of filter through some of it. Let me ask you: When you, when yeah. you see the the menu items, are you impressed? Are you scared? Terrified. <laughs> there's some terrifying things. Like I, like there's some like there was one that's pickle spears with Dole Whip and ice cream and the, yeah, and I'm just like I don't know about that. And hot Cheetos is a thing this year. It is, isn't it? I don't know if it's always a thing. I'm not a hot Cheeto person, but it is everywhere. And a lot of bacon. <laughs> A lot of bacon, a lot of hot I think Cheetos. I did see a hot Cheetos pizza at one point. Well, there's some bacon yeah, right there. Did you eat that? And pickles. I did not. Okay. I didn't eat that. That's straight out of the grease, huh? Yeah, I saw that one, though. There was a there was bubble gum flavored soda with cotton candy and, like, popsicles. I was like, I'm out. See, this is the thing. I'm out. I, I give that to my to my kids. They run around and then just, you know, you pass, pass out. out. Because yeah. it's too much sugar. Yeah. Does, did you do any? Does, did you do some of the desserts? Or I did. I tried. Savory? I tried a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, because there's things out there. You go in there making fresh cinnamon rolls right yeah. there, and that's always good. And they, they, they got a little. You get the middle. They're like, we're just going to give you three little middle cinnamon rolls, oh and it's like, 
Yeah, that's the best part. Why don't right. why give what do you do with the outside? I don't really care. Just give me the insides. <laughs> tasty, tasty. All right, so we got the show Saturday morning. Yep. You can check it out here on KPRC two. And in the, the, the last few minutes we have, and here it is uh, Saturday mornings at ten, by the way, and you can stream it or watch it on TV. In the last few minutes we want to talk about Southern Smoke this year. Yeah. You, you we we're doing yeah. a new we. event. Um, typically we have the big uh, festival in the fall, but you're doing decanted which yeah. is a brand new event. Tell us why you're doing it, what's it all about? We wanted to have a wine auction, you know, and, and it, every year the festival is in the fall. And so that being specifically with, you know, North Coast or North, North America winemakers, they can't come because that's their harvest season. That's when they're, they're taking grapes and they're making wine. That's when all the process works. And so they just can't come. So it was like, well, we want to have an event for when they can. And so we're doing it at the El Dorado Ballroom on April 20th this year. Um, and it's, it's going to be just a dining event, but more of a tasting event. It's a one to five. So it's a mid-afternoon. Mm -hmm. Come in, taste a bunch of wines. We have over 50 wineries represented. Winemakers and wine owners are coming in. It, and it's just the output by the wine community for this has been really amazing. Lots of collectibles, lots of auction items. Um, but yeah, we can't grow, we can't we can't grow the festival any bigger than it is, yeah. and and we we always feel like the auction and the silent auction inside of the festival kind of gets. It's an afterthought, right? right? You don't see it. Everybody's I never there see for it. the tents and the food. Yeah, you're right? going from, I want Chris Bianco's pizza to I want Baron Blue Doors this. Like, you know, you're just going down the thing. No, so, no matter how many times I get on stage and say, hey, there's an auction, it's like, I don't hear you. I'm eating right yeah, now. Yeah, so we're yeah. taking the auction to this event. Okay. Right? And okay. so we can have this event. So we'll have two events per year now. That's beautiful. One wine focused, one food focused. And this is the beginning. So you, you're getting in, as I say, you're getting in early yep. on this one. It's very so you get to experience the first one, get a chance to bid on some wines, and have yep. a good time. It's going to be a great time. Chef, good to see you. Good to see you. Get your new microphone next time. <laughs>